Hello everyone, Fontaine Pens writing here with my top 10 Fontaine Pens for 2021. Let's start. I started collecting and using pens in 2019 and after the first couple of cheap pens I bought, I quickly learned which type of pen size, nib and so on I like best, becoming more selective in my choices. Instead of accumulating pens that were attractive at the first glance or that are just ok, I just look for, let's say, grail pens. There will be no honorable mention or extra entries on this list. So, these are my top 10 fountain pens for 2021 in no particular order. First. There is the Lotus Vikrant, a pen inspired, neither a clone not knocked off, by the Platinum Izumo, made of this fantastic Cambridge Stewart Dartmoor acrylic. The pen is oversized, with this very peculiar barrel with this rounded double step. The section is very long and chunky, with brass thread in the middle. Not for everyone, but definitively for me. The nib is a steel broad nib tuned from Aaron Shingi or, or one of his employees. It was perfectly balanced, not too wet, not too dry and with a lovely feedback. But since I use thick and dry inks with this pen, I simply widened the tiniest slightly, but it was just perfect right out of the box. The second pen is the Penteo Bonita Golden Dragon. It was a unique experience to see every single step taken to make this pen after commissioning it. The Juma material is gorgeous. It resembles the dragon scales or snake scales and there is a subtle but clear shimmering effect. It seems to have a very fine gold dust in it. Wonderful. The nib, a steel yovo, was tuned from the nib by Sir Carrasco from FP Nibs to a broad cursive italic, and it's a dream to write with. Number 3. My last purchase of 2021, the Parker Duofold Centennial Big Red. This pen had been on my radar since I started this hobby, but the price was too high. Until I got an incredible offer from Amazon, I put the trigger in a blink of an eye. This pen is the classic of the classics, an orange acrylic with engraving on the barrel, the classic beautiful Parker clip and the wonderful 18 karat gold Parker nib. Originally it was a medium italic, although I bought on Amazon the pen with a medium, but it was too hard to use it. So I rounded it to a medium and adjust the flow to get more wet ink flow. Now writing with this nib is a sublime experience. Number 4 pen on this list is the Tinte Schnecke Autumn. Tinte Schnecke is a one woman company and Iris is the woman who created this wonderful work of art. This is an ebonite pen uh, and the Urushi work on it is magnificent. And that's not all, the pen comes in this box, also lacquered in Urushi. The all buying experience was wonderful. Mrs. Iris is a lovely woman and her work is terrific. She wasn't easy to find. Uh, she doesn't seem to be very well known in the fountain pen community, but I am extremely satisfied and find myself often checking her website to admire her other wonderful works and, you know, looking for the next grail pen. A stub wet steel Yovo number no. 6 nib completes this pen. Number 5 on this list, the Pilot A23 Custom Amber, but with a special nib. This pen has a fantastic reputation and with good reason. Nothing flashy, but absolutely gorgeous. The typical minimalist Japanese greys. Acrylic, gold plated trims, everything about this pen is just perfect. 
and I was able to get it with the number 15 Falcon nib, a flexible 14 karat gold Japanese nib that is simply amazing. With the vacuum filling mechanism and its original IBS feed, the flow of this nib is just perfect, like the rest of the pen. 6. The Vol Heversharp Decoban Oversight in Black Ebonite, or simply the King. This pen is big, just huge and elegant. Leonardo da Vinci said once, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And this pen, with its simple black ebonite and gorgeous gold plated trims, is just like a man in a tuxedo, the epitome of elegance. And what a nib! The number 8 18 karat gold nib from Boch modified to be extreme soft and its enormous ebonite feet. What a pen! Next up, is the Scribofil Grigio Giorno with the extra fine, extra flexible 14 karat gold nib. There is a video from Applebaum that shows how this pen is made. Fascinating. It is impossible to show you through a camera how beautiful this acrylic is and the level of how it is polished. The piston filling mechanism, the gold plated trims, the acrylic is all made in house and the nib is made on the old OMAS machines. It is designed by Scribo and the production is outsourced to Boch, but it is not a Boch nib. It has nothing of the typical 14 karat gold Boch nib. It is a 100% Scribo nib and with the right ink it writes like a dream. The next one is from another Italian manufacturer that designs and produces the entire pen and its 18 karat gold nib in house. And what a nib! We are talking about the Santini Libra Lauren. The satoyancy of this acrylic is magnificent. The acrylic, the gold plated clip, ball and the band, the nib, all is handmade in house. Only the piston filling mechanism comes from Schmidt. Then there is the crown jewel, the nib. This is the super flexi 18 karat gold extra fine nib. Not only it is beautiful, but the softness and particularly the snapback of this nib is spectacular. Penultimate pen is another entirely handmade pen. We are talking about the Heinz pen Evancio. Look at this acrylic. This is the famous diamond cast acrylic from Mackenzie Penworks. And it is gorgeous. If you are wondering what diamond cast means, well, there is actually diamond dust in the acrylic to achieve this spectacular effect. This pen has a simple design, but I think this is the most comfortable pen that I have to write with. Chunky, lightweight, big, fantastic. And the nib, this is the custom 14 karat gold flex nib from Carrasco, FV nibs, based on the Yovo 14 karat gold nib. This is fabulous. Oh, and one more thing about this pen. I don't use to post my pen, but check this out. How deep this pen posts and the overall design is even better. The last pen was my very first custom pen and it comes from the Edison Pen Signature line. Now, Edison Pen makes the production line, pens that you can buy from other retailers and then Signature line that are completely customizable and you can only buy directly from Edison. And here we have the Edison Herald Grande in Cumberland Ebonite. This is another simple and beautiful and elegant and gorgeous pen, crafted and polished to perfection. It is an oversized pen when closed, but often is a super comfortable full size pen to use thanks to the chunky section. Then we have the nib. This is one of the last custom flex nib that Richard Binder made from Edison pen before he retired. This nib is the most heavily modified nib I own. There is virtually nothing left of the original Yovo nib. Curvature, length, thickness, width, shape, the tip and who knows what else has been modified by Richard Binder. And the writing experience is sublime. 
And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about these pants and what are your favorite top pants. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 pants. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.